your breakfast. So that's what I'ma do. Take you back to the zoo with the lectures. Fast forward the jewels in the necklace. Let me tell you dudes what I do to protect you. Shoot at you actors like movie directors. Um, all right, this is my second video as far as with my review and the second player that I'm going to view right now is Austin Rivers. Now, I looked at his stats and here is what I saw. He overall is like a neutral as far as with the point guard standpoint. His medium shot is a B. His closeness is an F. But his um, athleticism is a B plus and that is huge. And his concentration as far as with contact layups as you saw right there, he can make those type of shots. Now his stealing ability is very good. He could pickpocket you at any time. And also he has dunking ability. Now I will say this for as of this standpoint, he has like a Russell Westbrook type of mentality when he attacks the rim as you can see right here. He attacks the rim with reckless abandon and I mean that in a good way. However, he has some flaws. With his medium shot, like I said, is a B, which is like an 80 overall. So he will make, let's see, he will probably make 50% of his medium shots. Like he will make one, miss one, make one, miss one. It depends if he's open enough, he'll make the shot. If he's not that open, he will miss it. But. If I want to build my team around for the future as far as point guard play, I will choose Austin Rivers. Now, as you see right there, I'm making a jump shot with Austin Rivers. He was wide open enough to make that shot. Now, going back to his shot now, the way he shoots the ball, you have to have like a good perfect release with his shot or else you will miss it. As you see, I held it long enough for him to be at the top of his jump and then releasing the ball. That is like probably the only way for you to make your jump shots with Austin Rivers. Now his penetration now. He will penetrate and get into the lane at will because he is quick enough. But as far as with his contact, um, as far as him being able to absorb contact and be able to make the layups, it's still 50-50 as well. But it depends who the defender is. Like if it's a Chauncey Billups or if it's like a Derrick Rose some elite point guard he will probably miss but if it's someone you know probably say average or mediocre probably around that range he will make the layup but he has really good court vision he can find people in the lane find people wide open he has good passing ability but overall Austin Rivers to me in my opinion he's a very good point guard he has some things he needs to work on, but overall, he's pretty good. He's a solid point guard coming out of Duke. Now, one thing I like about him is his um, intangibles is that he has no fear. He has no fear whatsoever, and that's what I like in a point guard. He's not afraid to go into the lane, being able to absorb the contact, being able to draw fouls. And as you see, he's like a forward general. That's how I'm trying to use Austin Rivers in this gameplay right here. I'm trying to use him as a floor general, point guard, like, but also playing him like a uh, like a Russell Westbrook, like. So I don't know if that's the right thing to do as far as with Austin Rivers trying to control him in that type of sense. But overall, as you see right here, I find Ryan Anderson for a three pointer there. Overall, I don't think it's best to use Austin Rivers in that type of sense. Use Austin Rivers the way, you know, best suited for his strengths. He's good at passing the ball, getting into the lane, and take reasonable shots with Austin Rivers. Take reasonable shots because if you take those out of control type of shots, three point type of shots, he he will miss them because he's not a good three point shooter as of now. He's okay, but not he's not great. He's good at three point shooting, but not great. But overall, he's a good player.